when you finally give up, the narcissist does this. When you cease making an effort, when you give up hope, when you accept that the narcissist is never going to change, there is something that they will do. Narcissistic relationships are very inconsistent. One minute they love you, the next they hate you. You never know where you are with them. You never know where you stand. They're hot, then they're cold. Sometimes they're interested in you and sometimes they're not. Which leaves you confused about how they really feel. They might say that they love you. But in the next moment they might get very angry. They're like a loose cannon. They're unpredictable and uncontrollable people who are likely to cause both intentional and un unintentional damage, which may leave you walking on eggshells. It may leave you to become extremely cautious about your words and actions, where you are very careful not to offend or upset them. But no matter how much you change yourself to please them, it never changes their behaviour. It doesn't matter how much you try to fit in with their wishes or needs. It doesn't matter how forgiven you are. Because although the narcissist may need that from you, they also expect it from you. They feel entitled to it. So they don't feel the need to give you anything back in return. It may get to a point where you finally give up. You stop trying to please the narcissist. You stop making an effort. You accept that the narcissist is not going to change and you no longer give them the same amount of attention as you did before because you no longer seek their validation or approval. And when this happens, the narcissist immediately senses it. They realize that they are losing control of you. They realize that they have lost the power to influence your behavior and direct the course of events, which makes them feel irrelevant. It makes them feel like they're not important to you anymore but they don't think about why you're being so distant. They don't think that anything they've done to you justifies you withdrawing from them, but they are actually very shocked when it does happen. It scares them because they fear their loss of supply. So when you finally give up, the narcissist will try to pull you back in. They will try to charm you. They will bring back the love bombing. Not because they care about you. But because they fear their loss of supply. A narcissist only does what is in their best interest, so if they feel like they're losing your attention, they will start making more effort. They will give you a reason to believe in them again, because it benefits them in that moment.
when you finally give up, the narcissist gives in. When you stop caring about the narcissist, you suddenly become very important to them. When you finally give up, the narcissist may give you a reason to care. They may give you a reason to value the relationship you have with them. But don't fall for it. It's just manipulation. Which is why they only act like they care when they feel like they're losing you. Because their only concern is what they can get from you. If they really cared about you, they would have shown that to you while you were still attentive. But they didn't. Instead, they took you for granted. They believed that you would always be there for them, regardless of how they treated you. And when you pull away, they're not concerned about you. They're just trying to deceive you so that they can get what they want. So they can trap you for their own benefit or gain. They will give you fake apologies and false epiphanies. They will act like they understand what they did wrong. They will say that they will change. They will tell you whatever they think you need to hear. Whatever they think will pull you back in. They will use future faking. They will lie or promise something about your future to get what they want in the present while having no intention of following it up with action. They will get you to invest in something that will never come into fruition because they want all of the benefits, advantages and conveniences that you bring to the table without having to give anything to you. So when you finally give up, the narcissist will give you a reason to jump back on the hamster wheel. They will dangle a carrot on a stick. They will promise you a reward as an incentive to perform a task or function or to induce their desired behavior. But you have to see through the lies and illusions and realize that they are full of it. Trust your own intuition. Look at all of the benefits, advantages and conveniences that you have brought to them and then evaluate what they have brought to you. And then you should come to the conclusion that they are not to be trusted. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coached inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.